hey there you awesome bipeds, quadrupeds, and even the occasional dinosaurs. My name is Little Wolf, and welcome to my den. Go ahead and come on in. The fire is nice and hot, so go ahead and grab yourself some coffee, tea, or even hot chocolate. I'm gonna grab some coffee really quick. Now, for most people, today is Valentine's Day, a day for couples to spend ungodly amounts of money on trinkets like diamonds and necklaces, bracelets and cards and candy and everything else to show the person that they're with that they love them. Which I think is a weird kind of thing because you should almost do that at least once a week to show the person you care about them. But, I thought, let's have a little bit of fun and go into the origins of Valentine's Day and look up what it means. So I did type into the oracle, the origins of Valentine's Day, and I found an article on npr.org. And it's the dark origins of Valentine's Day. And it looks like it's written by Arnie Seipel. So, Valentine's Day is a time to celebrate romance and levy and kissy faces feely. But the origins of the Festival of Candy and Cupid is actually dark, bloody, and a bit muddled. Hmm, imagine that. The origins of our holidays of being pagan holidays and things like that are muddled through time. Hmm. Though no one has pinpointed the exact origins of the holiday, one good place to start is ancient Rome, where men hit on women by, well, hitting them. Those wild and crazy Romans you know that they always do weird crap like that on days like this. From February 13th to February 15th, the Romans celebrated the festival of Lupercalia. The men sacrificed a goat with a dog. Oh, that's kind of sad. Leave the dogs alone. Then whipped women with the hides of the animal that they just slain. The Roman romantics were drunk. They were naked, said Noel Lenski, a historian at the University of Colorado at Boulder. Young women would actually line up for the men to hit them, Lenski said. They believed this would make them fertile. So, getting whipped by dead animals made you able to have babies? Okay, yeah, um, um, no. The brutal feat included a matchmaking lottery in which young men drew the names of women from a jar. The couple would then, um, hmm, couple up for the duration of the festival or longer if the match was right. The ancient Romans may also be responsible for the name of our modern day of love. Emperor Claudius II executed two men, both named Valentine, on February 14th of different years in the 3rd century AD. Their martyrdom was honored by the Catholic Church with the celebrations of St. Valentine's Day. Yay for martyrdom! Later, Pope Gelsius I muddled things on the fifth, in the 5th century by combining St. Valentine's Day with Lupercalia to expel the pagan rituals. So again, the Christians take a pagan holiday and mix it together with their own weird little rendition of whatever they want to celebrate, combine them together in a blender so that the pagans forget they're celebrating a pagan holiday. 
Sounds about right. But the festival was more of a theatrical interpretation of what it had once been, Lenski adds. It was a little more of a drunken revel, but the Christians put the clothes back on. That didn't stop it from being a day of fertility and love. Around the same time, the Normans celebrated Gallatin's Day. Gallatin meant lover of women. That was likely confused with St. Valentine's Day at the, some point, in part because they sounded alike. Aww. Now we come to a point where Shakespeare is in love. Yay! As the years went on, the holiday grew sweeter. Chaucer and Shakespeare romanticized it in their work and it gained popularity through Britain and the rest of Europe. Handmade paper cards became the token du jour of the Middle Ages. Aww. Eventually, the tradition made its way to the New World. The Industrial Revolution ushered in factory-made cards in the 19th century, and in 1913, Hallmark Cards in Candace, Missouri began mass-producing Valentines. So we can blame this day for Hallmark. Hmm. Good to know, good to know. Put that as a mental bullet note, I guess. Today, the holiday is big business, according to market research from IBIS World. Valentine's Day sales reached $17.6 billion, billion with a B, last year. And this year's sales are expected to reach a total of 18.6 billion. Billion with a B. Good lord, that's a lot of money to spend on bad chocolate. But the commercialization has spoiled the day for many, says Helen Fisher, a sociologist at Rutgers University says, we only have ourselves to blame, of course. This isn't a command performance, she says. If people don't want to buy Hallmark cards, they would not be bought, and Hallmark would go out of business. I'm not sure about that, because they make so many movies about Christmas and weird love and interesting murder mysteries, I guess you could call them. And so the celebration of Valentine's Day goes on, in varied ways. Many will break bank, buying jewelry and flowers for their beloveds. Others will celebrate in a capital S-A-D. That's Singles Awareness Day way, by dining alone and binging on self-gifted chocolates. A few may even spend this day the same way the early Romans did, but let's not go there. Aw, oh, why not? How did single Roman men celebrate this day? But from what we just learned, they would sacrifice a goat and another beloved quadruped and then whip women around town and make them fertile. I can't see how that would be a bad thing in this day and age. And that is where this little lovely article ends. And it made me kind of wonder what it meant for the Singles Awareness Day. And so I did type that up into the oracle also. And I found a thing for daysoftheyear.com and Singles Awareness Day is tomorrow so if you're single get ready to love yourself tomorrow 
After Christmas spent with elder family members asking when they're finally going to get married or at least find a boyfriend or girlfriend to bring home, life does not get any easier for singles after Christmas either. No sooner have the Santa Claus and snowman decorations vanished from the shops than the shelf shelves begin to burst with cuddly teddy bears, heart-shaped balloons, and boxes of cheap chocolate, all in shades of nauseating neon pinks and reds. Yes, Valentine's Day has become one of the world's most profitable occasions, yet another marketing scheme to hit pay dirt more than the original creators of the idea had ever dreamed of. If you're in a relationship, Valentine's Day is bad enough. What with all the additional pressure to be romantic and such rampant and blatant consumerism and commercialization can be considered romantic at all. The restaurants are all overpacked with couples trying so hard to impress each other and it seems every flower in the whole city has been bought out just so someone can say it's pretty once and throw away. Hallmark holidays are called that for a reason. Singles Awareness Day takes place the day after Valentine's Day. It is also known as Singles Appreciation Day. It is designed as a day for single people to celebrate. After all, those in relationships get to experience the joys of Valentine's Day. So why shouldn't single people have a day for themselves as well? It's also a great day to, for recognizing other forms of love. For example, the love between friends and family. Yeah, ding, 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 ding. As well as loving yourself. Hmm. There are some people who celebrate this day because they dislike Valentine's Day. You're, you probably know a lot of people who think that Valentine's Day is just a commercialized day that card shops and other stores can make money. You may even be one of those people yourself. How'd you know? Are you reading my mind? Get out of my head. If so, Singles Awareness Day is probably the sort of day you would very much enjoy. On this day, single people will often get together in honor of their single status. Whether your your love... I can read words, I know I can, I'm sorry. Whether you're lo you love being single or you're not so happy about it, Singles Awareness Day is important because everyone can take a moment to realize that you do not need to be in a relationship in order to have a happy life. There are many different events that take place on this day. This, this could include gathering with friends and family members, as well as volunteering and traveling. In fact, there are a lot of people who use this as an opportunity to take a trip to Brazil for Carnival that takes place during this period. The main way to celebrate Singles Awareness Day, though, is to treat yourself. After all, we all deserve a treat from time to time, don't we? That's what this day is about. So if you've been wanting a certain pair of shoes for quite some time, Today is the day to purchase them. Or, how about taking yourself out for a lovely meal? Treat yourself and appreciate how amazing you are. For singles, on the other hand, Valentine's Day can be a simple and cruel reminder that they are alone. No stuffed pink animals for them. No tacky heart-shaped boxes of poor quality chocolate either. Though, one does tend to wonder whether that really makes them worse off in the first place. 
singles awareness day used to be an alternate name for valentine's day among those who found themselves unattached during the day but it all became too depressing by so many singles hive mind consensus it was felt that the day after was the perfect antidote to the neon nonsense Now here's a quick little quote that I do like. And they do have a couple of little quotes sprinkled here and there in this article. But this one kind of caught my eye because of who wrote it. Being single used to mean that nobody wanted you. Now it means you're pretty sexy and you're taking your time to decide how you want your life to be and who you want to spend it with from Carrie Bradshaw. It's a humorous day to celebrate being single, to share with single friends, to, s to send each other presents, or even order yourself some flowers. On this day, many people wear green, as it is the complementary opposite of red. Another popular option is an absence of color, black. To symbolize an absence of celebration, one increasingly, increasingly popular activity is to travel to Brazil and witness the Brazilian Carnival. The trip, coupled with the fact that Brazil doesn't celebrate Valentine's Day on February 14th, but in June, provides a temporary getaway from the neon pink of Valentine's Day holiday celebrated in Western culture by simply substituting it with another celebration. Some who celebrate Singles Awareness Day just, uh, just want to remind romantic couples that they don't need to be in a relationship to celebrate life. And that is the key to being happy is being able to be happy with yourself. Contrary to popular misconceptions, Singles Awareness Day is not about self-pity, but a chance to announce to the world that you are single and happy to be so. Choosing the next day to allow singles a chance to turn this into a celebration rather than a festival of self-pity there is no reason to be miserable that you are independent and unattached. On the contrary, there are many people in relationships that might think that they would rather wish they were in your shoes, with no one to answer to but themselves. This is the day that all of the single people can proudly stand up and show that they are okay with being single. Take that, Cupid! This is also important to make sure that all of your single friends and family members feel appreciated. You never know how someone is feeling. While some people embrace being single, there are others who feel incredibly down about their single status. They may feel that no one wants them, or that they are not, no longer going to be in a relationship and never find one. It is important to lift those people up and let them know how incredible they are. Plus, it always feels good to be nice to others and make them feel better about themselves, doesn't it? Now, it kind of makes me laugh a little bit on the inside and quite a bit on the outside, thinking that we really... Do we really need a day to celebrate ourselves being single? And I'm pretty much included in on this one. For a Singles Awareness Day. Sad. Really. That's what you're going to call it. We already have something with the acronym of SAD. And it's Seasonal Affective Disorder. And that's where you have depression due to lack of sunlight so we really don't need that come on now and we really don't need a day to remind ourselves that we are single 
and we are awesome. Every day we wake up single. Every day we're awesome. Or at least we try to be. And weird little things about choosing one special day to either show the person that you're with that you love them, that you cherish them, that you worship the ground that they walk on. It shouldn't just be down to one single day. It should also be on their birthdays. It should be on Christmas. And like I was saying, possibly once a week go out and just buy some weird little trinket that you know they'll like and go ahead and give it to them. Because let them know that they're appreciated for putting up with your butt. All of the, us who have been in relationships that lasted a long time know what it's like to have those weeks where we feel unappreciated. So, once in a while, buy flowers for no reason. Buy candy that you know your other person likes. Find a weird movie you know they'll like. Find them a goofy t-shirt or something. Go ahead and just give it to them. There's no reason we need a single day to do this. The only other day that should be spent like this would be your significant other's birthday. So, I mean, and also, having a day where you buy yourself something special and you're not answering to anybody but yourself, why wait until February 15th? At least once a paycheck, buy yourself something special. Buy, your, buy yourself that movie set you want to buy. Buy yourself that set of headphones that you've wanted to get or the weird computer visual card that'll make your computer look like it's glued right into your eyeballs. Every time you get a chance to, buy yourself something special. Every chance you get to, buy your significant other something special. Every chance you get to, let your friends and family know that you care. This is something that should happen at least once a week. Especially now that we're locked down, or at least most of the world is locked down, and we can't visit each other, we can't get together as we normally did at one point and go out and have coffee, go out and have lunch, go to a movie, or anything else. If there are people in your life that you love, let them know. Because someone out there is definitely going to need a pick-me-up. And I will always be around in my Discord, or somewhere in the chats, or somewhere online, so that people can talk to me if they need to. You know I love you guys. You know I wouldn't be here without you guys. And this is my weird little Valentine's Day, self-awareness day, little gift to all of you. Just to have some fun at looking into the origins of Valentine's Day. And then learning about self-awareness day. A day of self-love. Most people who are single do that anyways. <laughs> but I just thought it would be a fun little thing to dig into all of this and figure out where this stuff comes from. And I hope you guys had a little bit of fun with me reading about this stuff and learning just a little bit more about where these weird little holidays that get commercialized to the nth degree. Things, like I said, that we should do on a weekly basis for our loved ones or for ourselves. I love you guys so much. And I hope you have a good night, a good day, a good afternoon, or have a good something. I love all of you, 
and I'll talk to you later. And please like, subscribe, and all of that fun jazz. So until next time, bye bye, you awesome bipeds, quadrupeds, and even the occasional dinosaurs. Bye bye.